for a full 24 hours. Not that I thought we'd get kicked out or anything. I mean, you're the perfect student and I'm, well, I'm me. But it's just crazy, you know? We've been friends for so long. What are the odds we'd still be together? Well, not together, together. Not that I'm not saying you're not handsome. You are handsome, but that'd just be weird, right? Right. What was I thinking? <laughs> but so, I hope we end up on the same team together. Ooh, we should come up with some sort of plan to make sure we end up on the same team together. What if we bribe that master? No, that won't work. He has a school. I know! We'll have some sort of signal, like a distress signal. <gasps> a secret signal so we can find each other in the forest. Can you imitate a sloth? Nora? Yes, Ren? I don't think sloths make a lot of noise. That's why it's perfect! No one will suspect we're working together. Come on, Nora. Let's go. But not together, together. <laughs> I wonder what those two are so worked up about. Oh, who knows? So, you seem awfully chipper this morning. <laughs> yep, no more awkward small talk or getting to know you stuff. Today, I get to let my sweetheart do the talking. <sighs> well, remember, Ruby, you're not the only one going through initiation. If you want to grow up, you're going to have to meet new people and learn to work together. Uh, you sound like dad. OK, first of all, what does many people have to do with fighting? And secondly, I don't need people to help me grow up. I drink milk. But what about when we form teams? Um, I don't know. I, I'll just be on your team or something. Maybe you should try being on someone else's team. My dear sister Yang, are you implying that you do not wish to be on the same team as me? What? No, of course I do. I just thought, I don't know, maybe it would help you break out of your shell. What the? I don't need to break out of my shell. That's absolutely ridiculous. Rid there's no way I put my gear in locker 636 yesterday. I would have remembered having to count that high. Oh, why does this have to happen today? So, Pira, have you given any thought to whose team you would like to be on? I'm sure everyone must be eager to unite with such a strong, well-known individual such as yourself. Hmm, I'm not quite sure. I was planning on letting the chips fall where they may. Well, I was thinking maybe we could be on a team together. Well, that sounds grand. Great! This will be perfect. The smartest girl in class combined with the strongest girl in class. Together, we will be unstoppable. I can see it now. We'll be popular. We'll be celebrities. We'll get perfect grades. Nothing could come between us now. You know what else is great? Me, Jean-Arc. Nice to meet you. You again? Nice to meet you, Jean. Yeah, yeah. So, Weiss, good note, but over here, your fondness of me the other day. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't worry, no need to be embarrassed. So, been hearing rumors about teams. I was thinking you and me would make a good one. What do you say? Actually, I think the teams are comprised of four students each, so... You don't say. Well, hot stuff, play your cards right, and maybe you could join up with the winning team. Jean, is it... Do you have any idea who you are talking to? Not the slightest, Snow Angel. This is Pira. Hello again. Pira graduated top of her class at Sanctum. Never heard of it. <laughs> She's won the Mistral Regional Tournaments four years in a row. A new record. The what? She's on the front of every Pumpkin Pete's Marshmallow Flakes box. <clears throat> That's you? They only do that for star athletes and cartoon characters. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Sadly, the cereal isn't very good for you. So, after hearing all of this, do you really think you're in a position to ask her to be on your team? I guess not. Sorry. Actually, Jean, I think you'd make a great leader. No, oh, stop it. Seriously, please stop it. This kind of behavior should not be encouraged. Sounds like Pierre's on board for Team Jean. Spots are filling up quick. Now, I'm not supposed to do this, but maybe I could pull some strings, find a place for you. What do you say? All right, that's a bit too close. Pira, a little help, please? Ah! I'm sorry. Would all first-year students please report to Beacon Cliff for initiation? Again, all first-year students report to Beacon Cliff immediately. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. 
Having some trouble there, Lady Killer? I don't understand. My dad said all women look for is confidence. Where did I go wrong? Snow Angel probably wasn't the best start. Come on, John. Let's go. For years, you have trained to become warriors, and today your abilities will be evaluated in the Emerald Forest. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard rumors about the assignment of teams. Well, allow us to put an end to your confusion. Each of you will be given teammates. Today. What? <laughs> These teammates will be with you for the rest of your time here at Beacon. So it is in your best interest to be paired with someone with whom you can work well. That being said, the first person you make eye contact with after landing will be your partner for the next four years. What? See? I told you! After you've partnered up, make your way to the northern end of the forest. You will meet opposition along the way. Do not hesitate to destroy everything in your path, or you will die. <laughs> you will be monitored and graded for the duration of your initiation but our instructors will not intervene. You will find an abandoned temple at the end of the path containing several relics. Each pair must choose one and return to the top of the cliff. We will guard that item as well as your standing and grade you appropriately. Are there any questions? Yeah, um, sir. Good, now take your positions. Uh, sir, I've got, um, question. So this landing strategy thing, uh, wh what is it? You're like dropping us off or something? No. You will be falling. Oh, I see. So, like, did you hand out parachutes for us? No. You will be using your own landing strategy. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, what exactly is a landing strategy? Gotta find Yang. Gotta find Yang, gotta find Yang, gotta find Yang! Yang! Oh, this is bad, this is really bad. Oh, what if I can't find her? What if someone finds her first? Well, there's always Jean. He's nice. He's funny. I don't think he's very good in a fight, though. Oh, what about Blake? So mysterious, so calm. Plus, she likes books. Well, then again, I'm not sure I'd be able to hold a conversation with her. Ugh. Okay, who else do I know in this school? There's Yang, John, Blake, and... Wait! Where are you going? We're supposed to be teammates. <laughs> By no means does this make us friends. You came back! Hey, wait! Come back! Who's gonna get me down from here? Jean? Do you have any spots left on your team? 
Very funny. What's the hurry? I will not let my mission be delayed because you're too slow. I swear if I get a bad grade because you're... What the? I'm not slow, see? <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. When did... Waste, just because I don't exactly know how to deal with people doesn't mean I don't know how to deal with monsters. You're about to see a whole different side of me today, Weiss. And after it's all over, you're gonna be like, Wow, that Ruby girl is really, really cool. And I want to be your friend. You may be fast, but you still excel at wasting time. Ruby? Ruby? Getting bored here. Is someone there? Ruby, is that you? Nope. You guys wouldn't happen to have seen a girl in a red hood, would you? You could just say no. <laughs> Jeez, you two couldn't hit the broad side of a b You mm -hmm. You Could have taken him. Remember your training, wise. Head up, shoulders back, right foot forward. Not that forward. Slow your breathing. Wait for the right time to strike. And now. Hey, watch it. Excuse me, you attacked out of turn. I could have killed you. You'll have to try a lot harder than that. <laughs> we have to go. <laughs> Well, perhaps if you had exercised even the slightest amount of caution with the placement of your strikes, I wouldn't have set the forest on fire. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just surprised that someone that talks so much would communicate so little during an encounter. Well, I'm sorry that you need my help to win a fight. I'm just fine on my own. Well, congratulations on being the strongest trial to sneak your way into Beacon. Bravo. Dad! <laughs> Did you hear that? Gunfire. It seems some of our comrades have encountered the enemy. John, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Just a scratch. Why didn't you activate your aura? Huh? Your aura. Gesundheit. John, do you know what aura is? <laughs> of course I do. Do you know what aura is? Aura is the manifestation of our soul. It bears our burdens and shields our hearts. Have you ever felt like you were being watched without knowing that someone was there? Uh, yeah. Ooh. 
With practice, our aura can be our shield. Everyone has it, even animals. What about monsters? No. The monsters we fight lack a soul. They are creatures of grim. The manifestation of anonymity. They are the darkness, and we are the light. Right. That's why we fight them. It's not about why. It's about knowing. Understanding both dark and light helps us manifest our aura. Everyone has some of both. By bearing your soul outward as a force, you can deflect harm. All of our tools and equipment are conduits for aura. You project yourself and your soul when fighting. No. It's like a force field! Yes, if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> Now, close your eyes and concentrate. Uh, okay. For it is in passing that we achieve immortality. Through this, we become a paragon of virtue and glory to rise above all, infinite in distance and unbound by death. I release your soul, and by my shoulder protect thee. Pura? It's all right. I used my aura to unlock yours, but the energy that protects you now is your own. You have a lot of it. Wow. <laughs> I still don't think that's what a sloth sounds like. Our last pair has been formed, sir. Nora Valkyrie and Lai Ren. Poor boy. I can't possibly imagine those two getting along. Still, he's probably better off than Miss Nikos. Mm -hmm. I don't care what his transcripts say. That Jean fellow is not ready for this level of combat. I guess we'll find out soon enough. At their current pace, they should reach the temple within just a few minutes. Speaking of which, what did you use as relics this year? Professor Ospin. Hmm. It's definitely this way. I mean, this way. It's definitely this way. All right. It's official. We passed it. Why can't you just admit that you have no idea where we're going? Because I know exactly where we're going. We're going to the Forest Temple. Ugh. Oh, stop it. You don't know where we are either. Well, at least I'm not pretending like I know everything. What is that supposed to mean? It means you're a big, stupid jerk, and I hate you. <clears throat> just keep moving. Oh, just keep moving. Hurry up. Well, watch where you're going. Why are you so bossy? I'm not bossy. Don't say things like that. Stop treating me like a kid. Stop acting like a kid. Well, stop acting like you're perfect. I'm not perfect. Not yet. But I'm still leagues better than you. You don't even know me. Think this is it? Chess pieces? Some of them are missing. Looks like we weren't the first ones here. Well, I guess we should pick one. Think this is it? I'm not sure this is it. <sighs> Pira, I made the torch. Could you at least humor me for maybe five more feet? <laughs> Do you feel that? Soul-crushing regret? No, it's... warm. Hmm... 
How about a cute little pony? Sure. That wasn't too hard. Well, it's not like this place is very difficult to find. That's the relic! Hey! Bad relic. Gotcha! Jean? Some girl's in trouble! Blake, did you hear that? Did your sister just fall from the sky? I... Aw, it's broken. Nora? Please, don't ever do that again. Did that girl just ride in on an Ursa? I... John! Kira! Whoa! Ruby! Ruby? Yang! Nora! Yeah! Did she just run all the way here with a Death Stalker on her tail? Gonna fall. She'll be fine. She's falling. <sighs> yeah. Just dropping in. Oh God. No. <laughs> My hero. My back. Great! The gang's all here. Now we could die together. Not if I can help it. Yeah! Ruby, wait! <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. Totally fine. Get out of there! I'm trying! 
and dim-witted, and hyperactive, and don't even get me started on your fighting style. And I suppose I can be a bit difficult, but if we're going to do this, we're going to have to do this together. So if you quit trying to show off, I'll be nicer. I'm not trying to show off. I want you to know I can do this. You're fine. <sighs> Normal knees. Whoa! <gasps> so happy you're okay. Guys, that thing's circling back. What are we gonna do? Look, there's no sense in dilly-dallying. Our objective is right in front of us. She's right. Our mission is to grab an artifact and make it back to the cliffs. There's no point in fighting these things. Run and live. That is an idea I can get behind. Time we left. Right. Let's go. What is it? Nothing. Over there, they need help. Let's do this. Yeah, but uh, I can't make that jump. <laughs> Whoa!
Think you can make the shot? Hmm. Can I? Can? Of course I can! That was a thing. Russell Thrush, Arden Winchester, Dove Bronzewing, Sky Lark. The four of you retrieved the Black Bishop pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Cardinal, led by Carden Winchester. John Arth, Lai Wren, Kira Nikos, Nora Valkyrie. The four of you retrieve the white rook pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Juniper. <laughs> Led by Sean Ark. Huh? L Led by? Congratulations, young man. Whoa! <coughs> and finally, Blake Belladonna, Ruby Rose, Weiss Schnee, and Yang Shao Long. The four of you retrieve the White Knight pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Ruby, led by Ruby Rose. I'm so proud of you! It looks like things are shaping up to be an interesting year. Open it. We're gonna need more men. 